Hey folks, it's Antar, and I'm back with my 46 narrated Wi-Fi battle. I'm using my Sydney team, which is the first team that I designed for this channel, and it's also the team that's gone through the most uh, changes. Um, you know, I've taken out some people, I've put in others, I've done modifications, I've rebred, um, and so here there are two new differences. Uh, Lantern has been rebred, and I've also replaced um, my Torterra with a Tangrowth, uh, whose nickname, by the way, is Kudzulu, um, a combination of Kudzu and Cthulhu. Um, so anyway, here we go. My opponent is not using uh, Ubers, which is great, and um, I'm hoping for a good battle. Um, yeah, I, I was wanting to have this battle in uh, a nice Coliseum, but uh, he forced it to be in Lagoon. Um, anyway, Tangrowth is not going to do well against these two leads. Um, I was expecting him to choose some others, so uh, I'm going to pull him back and send out Gardevoir, um, who is pretty darn bulky uh, and will be able to uh, take whatever uh, anyone on the field, including my guy, can dish out. Um, what I didn't see coming was that this is a Rain Dance team. I should have seen it coming. Um, based on his choices. Uh, both of his leads have um, dry skin as their ability, um, and which is really great in the rain, awful in the sun, and I'm really, really wishing I'd chosen Pidgey, that's the name of my Charizard, uh, out here. Anyway, uh, Spore put um, Steelix to sleep, and so I had to undo that with um, Heal Bell. Um, Parasect is going to keep on sporing and decided to take it down Gardevoir, um, but luckily I've got that Lumberry. Um, which is quite nice. Uh, I was expecting to be doing Trick Room or something here, but his guys are really slow. Um, you know, uh, slower than Gardevoir, and I mean, well, Gardevoir has base 80 speed, but still, um, I'm pretty sure Parasect is even slow. No, Parasect is faster than, um, uh, whatchamacallit, Steelix, but not by much. Uh, it's just insane. Anyway, Gardevoir uses Psychic, um, which is the best move, you know, strongest move that I can think of to use. Um, Bronzong uses Earthquake. Oh yeah, this is another um, heat-proof Bronzong, um, which is interesting. For a Rain Dance team, you know, there's already, if you've got the Rain set up, you don't necessarily need the heat-proof, in my opinion. Uh, it would have been better to have it be Levitate, but hey, better for me. Anyway, he uh, keeps on using the Spore. I'm just glad he char uh, contact, uh, he used it on Gardevoir and was actually able to do some damage before being put to sleep. Um, and so now I've taken out uh, Bronzong, um, and I believe uh, Gardevoir is still alive, and I do finish off Parasect. So I've taken down two of his guys, um, but Gardevoir is asleep, uh, and so this isn't going too well. Oh, and Gardevoir is down to basically no HP, although if you will have noticed, um, most of that damage was done by my Earthquakes. Anyway, he sends out Toxicroak and um, Mantine. Um, I'm going to pull back Gardevoir, um, save her for later, and instead I'm going to send Tangrowth back, send Tangrowth back out, who should be able to do some damage. Um, Toxicroak uses X-Scissor, uh, which is, look at this, um, does, uh, you know, even though it's a super effective hit, Tangrowth just takes it and, you know, doesn't, uh, barely feels it at all. And, um, here comes the Surf, um, which, uh, luckily Tangrowth is going to resist. Um, but it's going to hit uh, Steelix really hard, um, although Steelix does survive, um, even though it's raining. Um, you know, Steelix is just awesome. Anyway, I was expecting Earthquake to take out um, his Pokemon, but it didn't quite. Yeah, and again, uh, Tangrowth has high defense, and uh, Earthquake does nothing to it. Um, and so I'm reducing recovery with Leftovers. Um, I'm trying to remember whether at this point three or four of my the Pokemon on this team have leftovers. It's something insane like that, but, um, you know, no item clause is great. So anyway, he uses Gunk Shot, um, which I was like, oh man, that did so much damage. That must have been a special move, but actually it's physical. It's just that it has an extremely high base power, and that plus um, the same type attack bonus uh, was enough to take it out. Um, but, oh man. Uh, so anyway... Surf is going to heal up Toxic Croak um, and do not do too much to um, Lantern. And so at this point, it's even though I've got a lead in terms of the number of, remo uh, the number of remaining Pokemon, um, this isn't looking too good for me. Um, so uh, Lantern is, uh, yeah, Gardevoir is asleep. Um, I'm down two Pokemon. Oh, actually, no, so we've got the same number of Pokemon left, uh, but. Uh, 
Gardevoir is, for all intents and purposes, done. Uh, and so Lantern is my last uh, hope on this team. So I go ahead and use Thunderbolt, which one hit KOs Mantine, you know, well, with the 4x uh, res you know, resistance. I was a little bit expecting Mantine might have uh, either a Wakan Berry or a um, Focus Sash. I'm really glad he didn't. Um, anyway, uh, Toxicroak does another gunk shot, um, which missed. I assume it was aimed at Lantern, in which case it would have killed him. But so anyway, I am able to take out Toxicroak and win the match. So thank God, um, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Um, but another good match. Um, I've been really lucky. It's not even like I've been, you know, not uploading battles that, I, that were crappy. Um, I've just been getting really good luck with these. Um, you know, there are good opponents on Wi-Fi. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.